All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to be making a jacket, a puffer jacket to be precise. So it's very, very extremely simple because there's a preset for it. So we're gonna create a top for the character. Just um, place the vertices, the nipple, the shoulder, the elbow, wrist, and pelvis. Generate top rig and you can just um, set the neck circle however big you want the neck to be. We go through this in every tutorial. Uh, the size of the arm and the sleeve, however long you want it to be. If, since it's a jacket, we want it to be full length, like that. You can make it a bit bigger if you want. Um, and the length, we want it to be about this long or a bit shorter, I think. Yeah, you can scale it along this axis and click on generate top and it will create the top for us. So in sculpt mode, you can now just adjust the chest region because it usually comes out a bit bigger than it should be. Um, that will be fixed in a later version. Um, but for now, this is okay. So just make sure the cloth is okay on the character. You can see here we might need to add some inflation. So just press I to inflate. And now, since the shirt is okay, I'll come under Divine Presets and you can see Varsity Jacket. And under the presets, we're going to click on Open and we also want a hoodie. So, um, I'm not sure if it comes with materials, I think it does. We can enable materials and click on Turn to Puffer Jacket. Alright, so it has created a puffer jacket with a hoodie. You can sculpt the hoodie. It's going to sculpt mode and adjust it however you want so you can place it here and yeah shape it however and when you're done click on bind to update it when you press play you can see we have a puffer jacket on our character we can increase the weight of the hoodie select the hoodie come to vertex mass you can increase it to about three or two i'll do 2.5 press play and you'll see it drops it's kind of heavier and drops onto our character as they're walking so yeah we have a puffer jacket that's basically it um you can add things like buttons so you can pull open the assets browser and you can see divine buttons over here um, you can drag them onto the cloth so that's the right side left side whichever and click on divine accessory and just move them onto the cloth whichever points you want. I don't think you don't really have buttons on jackets do we? You have zips so I'm gonna leave these I'm gonna bind them as well but I'm gonna add a zip to this instead so we're always adding buttons. Um, I'm gonna add this one so just drag it onto here. I'll scale it up a little and then click on divine accessory. So with this now you can drag press G to drag or E to extrude and you can just extrude it along along the thing so you can see areas like this that need more geometry mount to extrude it a bit more and then uh, just keep extruding like that when you're done you can see it's facing the wrong way currently select the object itself and in edit mode you can just press r and just find the axis i'm going to try z and um, 180 and yes it was z you can also move it up or down, downwards, so it goes further into the jacket. And you can move it forward along Y, and that is just um, offsetting it. You can come under the curve modifier and enable this option here. And that way, when you're editing it, you can see the effect it has on the jacket. So this is great. Um, we're going to give it a mirror modifier and set the mirror object to the jacket and then when we're done you can click on bind so it is now bound to the jacket so when you press play you can see we have the zip on the jacket like that but yeah i'm not going to make this too long um that is basically how to create a jacket using divine cuts 